Four and do what though, Quadre? You said keep them four and, and do what? Do the commandments. Right. And that's what we've lost as a, as God's chosen people. Right. We've lost track of the commandments. Right. We don't want to know about them. We don't want to hear about them. We don't want to be corrected by them. But that's why we are so destroyed as a people. Right. And we must be pushed throughout the state of South Carolina by all means necessary. Our people are in desperate need of God's laws out here. We're the men to stand boldly to get the job done against all opposition that standeth in our way. And opposition will come. In fact, it's already here. Every day we put our lives on the line to save our people. Exactly. And that's even in the midst of all the opposition that come our way. But this is our mission. It doesn't matter how we feel or what we think. We all have our own issues. But who's gonna rise up when the Most High calls? It's time to gather the saints from Columbia to Spartanburg, Charleston to Myrtle Beach. We hit the streets for the lost sheep. So men of war, gather yourselves together. Let's get ready for battle. Strap your boots, no excuse, let's push this through. Whether it's two by two or the whole crew, get ready, we coming through. We are not a hate group. We are not affiliated with any other Israelite group. Hey. Israel, united in Christ, is a non-violent, Bible-based movement. IUIC. I didn't remember everybody's name, but everybody does understand to some extent that you are the children of God, right? That your God-given name is that you are the Israelites. How do we lose that name though? Because removing ourselves from God, not reverencing God, I did hear that part, right? So the fear of God going into the respect of God is what we lost. I want Psalm 119 verse 59 and 60 because us not fearing God, Cause us to put, be put on slave ships, right. to have chains and shackles on our necks, right. for us to be degraded as men and women. Right. As a nation, we are degraded. They make mockery of us in these last days. Right. Y'all understand that, right? So much so that we've changed our kind, we changed our mindset. But God is saying in these last days, we must fear Him. You got that? Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 59. Bring it up. I thought on my way. So God is wanting us to think on our ways. If we're if we're being reminded that we are the children of God, what did we miss when we actually wore that name? The law, statutes, and commandments. Right. Go ahead, read on. And turn my feet into thy testimony. So now we have to turn back to the testimony of God, which is his laws that governed us as a royal and noble people. That right. making sense. Read on. I made haste uh -huh. and delayed not to keep thy commandments. So we must make haste to keep God's commandments. As we remember who we are, that's what God wants of us. That makes sense. So I'm going to ask, uh, I got to deal with some, some things. I want Deuteronomy 22 and 5. What does our dress code have to do with honoring and fearing God? Say it again. Right. You're, God gave us an image. He, right. he, God was our image consultant, for right. lack of a better term. He gave us a dress code. When right. we dress outside of that dress code, what happens is we take on different spirits. You understand? Y'all ever seen the movie Good Hair? Y'all ever seen that movie? It was a recent one with, from Chris Rock. And, and are you the mother? I, I didn't get your name. Nashika. Thank you. And Lede? No, Lede. Nessa. So watch this. Before you go, before you go, listen to this. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman should not wear that which pertained to a man. So that means that women should not be wearing pants. Why? Because it actually puts a manly spirit on the women. Right. That's why our women are going into homosexuality, that lesbianism, where they call themselves studs and butch. Right. That's what we have going on. And that's part of why some of our people walk away from the commandments of God. Right. Because the white man has made us comfortable right. with degrading ourselves. It's easy to go into the policies of America where our enemy says it's okay for two women to lay together. But what does God say? What does God say about two men laying together? You, my brother right here. Say it again. 
What does God say? It's an abomination. But what? Who did God give His laws to? He get watch this. Come here for a second. I want to show you something. Get some, it, it just real, real quick. I just want you to hear this because what a lot of our people are learning in the Christian church and in this defiled society is that God gave His laws to everybody. He only now. What did God call us? Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 147 and verse 19. Read out. He showed his word unto Jacob. Jacob is one man that we read about in the Bible. Read on. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Israel was what his name was changed to, and that's also the name that he gave to his children. His children are now known as the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We don't even wear the name Jacob, and therefore we have forgotten that God has been showing his word to us and us only. But right across the street, Jehovah's Witnesses will not say that. Right down the street, the, the Presbyterian, the Baptist church will not teach us that God is directly talking to those those who went into slavery, those who find themselves in sin, those who are in sin right now, buying and selling on the Sabbath day. God showed us his word that we may dwell in wisdom. Read it again. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He has not dealt so with any nation. Read that again. He has not dealt so with any nation. So in the Christian church, they say John 3.16 means that God deals with everybody. But that verse right there, which is written in the Psalms, it says that he has not dealt so with any other nation to give his word but to the children of Israel. And watch this. When we look at the sins that are perpetuated in the world, who are the poster children of those sins? When it comes to promiscuity, whose women are the face of promiscuity? They're making our women the face of promiscuity. Who is the face of HIV AIDS? It's our people. You want to know why? Because God only gave his wisdom to us. So when we turn our back on God's wisdom, guess what happens to us as a people? We are the face of destruction. I want to show you this one, one thing. Deuteronomy 28 verse 43. And I see you over there, my sister. Come over here. I want to show you something. Because what we're doing is showing the word of God. And we can go into dress code, we can go into mindset, we can go into societal building, we can go into all these things because God is giving us his wisdom that we apply it. Read it, read that. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 43. The stranger that is within thee. So God made us his special people. But he said those strangers, those other nations outside of you, what's going to happen if we break God's laws? Read. Shall get up, up above thee very high. Who's ruling today's society? Who makes policies for the black man and Hispanic woman and black the, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to defile themselves? Bring it out. Who put together these man-made religions to where we find false doctrine and learn false doctrine? Teach. Who put these things together? The stranger is going to get up above us very high in many ways. Read on. And thou shalt come down very low. And we will come down very low. What do they call the neighborhoods that we live in? The ghettos. Right? The ghettos. Yeah. Projects. Because who's experimenting on the people they there? Experimenting on us. The same people that put us into slavery. Right. So when we say, a lot of our people get into that Stockholm Syndrome as well, where we learn to love our enemies and we hate our own people and I hate our own selves. Right. But that's a part of the strangers that are around us that should have been serving us, getting up above us very high. Right. They don't care about our well-being. They don't care about your marriage being honorable. Right. You bringing forth honorable children. They don't care about us building up infrastructure so much so that Tulsa riots happened because we were building. Right. But what did we lack? We lacked God's laws. Bring it we lacked the understanding that was going to actually prosper us and show us the kingdom to come. See? We don't. He shall lead to thee and thou shalt not lead to him. So what is God talking about right now? Banking systems. Right. The same systems we see now. We got to go to our enemies to get a loan. Right. The Bible says he shall lend to us. Right. We won't lend to him. Backwards. Say it again. We got it backwards. They why is it backwards though? Last shall be first, first shall be last. We didn't do, we didn't follow the laws that he laid out for us. Exactly. Now we're being punished for it. So exactly. What we have to do is Deuteronomy four. Regain, put ourselves in a position we have to build. Nation right. Building. We have to be on the same page. And what's your and name? I didn't get your name, bro. Quadre. Quadrain? Quadre. Quadre, forgive me. Yeah. So watch this, Quadre. What you're saying, what we always want to do right. is substantiate our thoughts by the words of God. Right. So what you're saying is the wisdom of God. So we're going to read that for you so that you have a, a reference. Read. 
Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 5. Bring it out. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, uh -huh. even as the Lord my God commanded me. So we are reading laws, commandments, statutes of God for our wisdom. Read on. That ye should do so in the land whether you go to possess it. So initially, before we were brought down low, God wanted us to possess everything that we walked upon. Right. Seven chapters after that, God said, wherever your foot going to tread, that's yours. Y'all right. understand that? Right. Read on. Keep therefore and do them. Keep therefore and do what though, Quadre? You said keep them for it. And do this. what? Do the commandments. Right. And that's what we've lost as a, as God's chosen people. Right. We've lost track of the commandments. Right. We don't want to know about them. We don't want to hear about them. We don't want to be corrected by them. But that's why we are so destroyed as a people. Right. And we, we have the solution. Right. We just got to apply it. Read on. Right. For this is your wisdom and your understanding. Did it say that politics is our wisdom? Did it say, it says the commandments are our wisdom. It's very simple reading, right? But why aren't they teaching it to us in churches, in school? They control that. Exactly. Go ahead, what you got? Read. Psalm 94, verse 20. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frameth mischief by law? So the throne of iniquity. The wicked is in power. And guess what they do? They frame all types of sin and put it into law. Right. The Stop Woke Act is a new law to take the teaching of slavery, our history, out of the school. Why do they want to take that out of the school? So they won't let you know that this is what they inflicted on you and done to you. Exactly. And then also too, our history doesn't start with slavery. It's way before that. Exactly. Just push that on you to keep you thinking, oh, you a slave, you a slave. You came from nothing. So where is that history written? Where's, Where's that history before slavery written? They have it. They have it in the book. No, we have it. But we have it too, but they it, hide it. Watch this. But it's this is now. in the Bible. Yes. And that's what we're showing our people. When we are reading about slavery happening to our people in Deuteronomy 28, guess what that was at that time when it was being professed? It was a prophecy. Right. So these things are going to happen in the future right. if we don't keep God's laws. Right. So now we are the product of not following God's laws. Yeah. Wake them up! His, exactly, because it's... You are correct. Now, I want to get this. I want to get this. Because you're on point. Now we are in the stage of correcting our sin. Is this your wife? Yes. So this is your household. As men, we establish and found households. We established the nobility of our people. I want Deuteronomy 22 and 5 because this is where we left off when we had the family up here. Yeah. Everything applies to all of our people. So watch this. This is what you can govern and fix a little bit by little bit. Go ahead, read that. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Bring it out. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. And that's where I started talking to you. You said you mentioned an abomination. Right. An abomination. So abomination, what is an abomination? Abomination is pretty much going against the moral that was laid out for us in the laws. Good. We're doing pretty much like Solomon and more. Stuff that doesn't help with procreation. Good. Stuff that destroys. For example, like... My grandfather used to tell me, stay from, stay away from these five things that's white. Sugar, white rice, white woman, okay. cocaine. So watch this. Even before that, what is God saying to stay away from? Read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Because initially when God gave us his laws, he instituted pants to be for men. That's right. Right? Now watch this. Help me out, sis. Because we do the research, we know. So sisters, when they have on pants and they keep it on for an elongated time, what happens to their bodies? They get a yeast infection. You know who that disease came from? It came from God. Because he didn't design your body to wear pants. So when our sisters are dealing with venereal diseases, STDs, various things like that, God is at the root of it because we're breaking his laws. I'm going to show you the proof. Deuteronomy 28 verse 61. Bring it up. Let's get that. Read. 
Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 61. Read out. Also, every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of the law, uh -huh. them will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. So during this time, the type of diseases or, 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 or um, illnesses were botches, blemishes, issues of blood. Right. But now, what's happening to our people? AIDS, HIV, herpes, right. blue waffle. These things are being created by God to correct his people. Those diseases are a correction. You think, well, I'm gonna be a little graphic. You know, our sisters be thinking I can just drink some cranberry juice and flush it out. That's what the doctors say. Okay, that's a remedy, but it's a remedy to lead you to the real correction. Wear a dress like God wants you to as a princess. And you see how you can fix that in your household? It's simple. All we gotta do is keep the commandments. Go back to Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Because all these sicknesses, all these punishments that come upon us is because we're leaving the obedience towards our Heavenly Father. Right. Read it again. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Read out. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So women should not wear pants. I pray that you repent of that thing, sis. You are royalty. That's right. It, the fact that you're married to this man, he already has established some type of protection and provision for you to say that you're worthy of it. Right. Right. You're doing something honorable. Y'all, I, I, I love seeing this amongst our community right. because right. it's becoming obsolete. You know, in some of these uh, islands, right. they say marriage is becoming obsolete. Where black people live and dwell together, they say marriage is becoming obsolete obsolete but that ain't stop children from coming right. but we gotta emit all the abominations from amongst our people read that again from the top the woman shall not bear that which pertaineth unto a man it puts a manly spirit on our women that's why two men, two men can't be in the house right. you can't have two people yeah. wearing the pants in the house one cake for a castle, only one cake for a castle. exactly so if the woman is wearing the pants now what is the man wearing whether it be spirit, you're right. And that now the man has spiritually put on the dress. Read the next part. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. But isn't that what we're seeing all throughout social media? Television, right? They want us to be gender fluid. They want us to be comfortable. And I, Gena, that is the most beautiful thing that I, I've heard. Genocide amongst right. a people. It's like it's like this. Um, I like. I like. Let them. Let them go ahead. Themselves. We ain't even got to do the work no more. We right. Drugs, the guns, Proverbs three and thirty one. Exactly. Out. Because now what they want to do is wipe right. their hands clean and say right. we Shalom. didn't do that to you. Right. 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 But watch this. Go to rock. Shalom. Right. And that, that's always been right. their thing. But guess what? Nowadays we're doing the same thing. Right. How so? Read that. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 31. Yeah. Envy thou not the oppressor. So when pants got made fashionable, you know a white woman went rogue against her own people to put that out there. She was getting arrested by her own people, right? But, you know, some of our people love that thing and we supported it and nowadays it is a, uh, a fashion statement my family right here what we're teaching is the laws of God and how to come back as a nation so watch this the Bible just said we should not envy our oppressor okay I'm a, if you don't mind these are your children can I ask your family a question which one of these right here is Jesus which one just real quick y'all can go out and you know this is and, and this is a learning moment for all of us. We are getting our minds right as the, old, the elders. We're starting to uncover some information, but what about our children? Our children are being lost because either we don't know how to teach them properly, we aren't spending the time with them properly, or we're so busy envying our oppressor, we let anything fly. Read it again. Envy thou not the oppressor, uh -huh. and choose none of his ways. And choose none of his ways. Now watch this. What do uh, what does America celebrate in December? In Christmas. What does America celebrate in November? Thanksgiving. What does America celebrate in October? Halloween. So all these things are ways that our enemies have given us. Our oppressors have given us. Do you realize that at the root of Christmas, Thanksgiving, is the killing of your people? So watch this. So that we can fix this issue. My, uh, uh, and I didn't get your name, sis. I want Revelation 1 and 14. What we want to do is fix this imagery at least bit by bit. So bear with me, okay? Revelation chapter 1 verse 14 because guess what, young man? 
young, young princess. This is not Jesus. This is a lie. They lied to us. They lied to us, young princess. They lied. That's this is not Jesus. We're gonna read about what Jesus looks like. All right, watch this. Read. Revelation chapter 1 verse 14 his head and his hairs were white like wool so white in color and woolly in texture you see how your hair you see how our hair kind of rolls up like that we can make afros we can make dreadlocks we can make curls we can make sister locks we can do all the things without our hair stands up it reaches to the heavens because that's what woolly hair does so guess what does, is this woolly hair? No, that's fur. No, this is dog fur. Goat hair. Right, right. Y'all understand that? Nope. But it says, it does this picture even have white hair in the color? No. So just by that portion of the description, this is already found a lie. Read on. As white as snow. Real quick, mother. Real quick, mother. Go ahead. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes were as a flame of fire. What color is fire? Red. Right? Because he drank wine in moderation. But this is the kicker. Read on. And his feet like unto fine brass. So fine brass is brown. And, it, and it's disheartening to see that deception be in the mind of our children and sometimes their own mothers amongst our people. Amongst our, the, the white woman has no problem. No, 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 no. The, hey, these are God's children. These are God's children. We're going to read the Bible because you... Say it again. So why aren't you teaching that? Understood. They're under your care, though. And they're your grandchildren? So watch this. When you brought them out here, do you realize you brought them and teaching them sin? Because buying and seven on, selling on the Sabbath day is sin. So you're teaching them something. But now that it's coming out of the Bible, we don't want to hear it. This is what has happened to our people. Let it have been a white man out here saying that. It would have been, oh, that's fine. Let's y'all stand there and sit, listen to him. What is she mad about? The fact that she is not living up to what the Bible says. Right. That's what a lot of our people get offended by. But what are we doing? We're teaching. We're, te we're trying to elevate our people. But guess what? It comes with change. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is you.